Welcome to the worldwide community of COCAM. This video teaches introductory information and skills for basic searches in Mark Davies' Corpus of Contemporary American English. We are going to show you how to use lemmas, parts of speech tags, and wildcards so that you can perform an efficient search in COCAM. But first, Jamie is going to teach us what lemmas are and how to use them to perform a search in COCAM. First, what in the world is a lemma? No, it's not a South American cud chewing animal related to the camel. That's a llama. Lemmas are academic speak for the different forms of a word, like all the forms of the adjective pretty. Prettier, prettiest, pretty. Lemmas can also be the conjugations of a verb, like eat, ate, eating, eaten, eats. To be more accurate with our results on a word's usage, we search for all forms of a lemma. So the question is, how do I use COCA to search for them? The search options are here on the left of the screen. So that COCA understands exactly what you're looking for, the words text box requires some special symbols. To search for all the forms of a word, you just need to surround the most basic form of a word with square brackets, like with pretty. So, what results should we expect? Let's type in our search, click search, and on the right side, our results will appear. The results will list, from most frequent to least, all the forms of our word that COCA can find. Occasionally, you will get a result or two that don't seem to belong, like with our result for pretty. We're looking for an adjective, but in the results we also get pretties and prettied. When I click on the results, I see that, in context, pretties is a noun, and prettied is a verb, past tense form, used in the phrase prettied up. To keep our results to just the adjectives, we need to know about parts of speech tags, which Stetson can show us all about. Many English words can be used as different parts of speech. You can use the POS search option to identify which part of speech a word can be used as. For example, the word text can be used either as a noun that means a written utterance, or as a verb that means to send a written utterance from one cellular telephone to another. Though English speakers often know naturally which parts of speech the word text can be used as, speakers learning English often do not know different ways the word can be used. The POS search option helps you search for and distinguish the parts of speech of any common word. Now let's see how this can be done. The parts of speech or POS search option is located in the search string caption right here. Move the cursor over the POS list icon and click on it. Click on the down arrow to drop the menu like this. This menu shows common parts of speech that you can search. The first section here lists the four major parts of speech. Noun, verb, adjective, and adverb. I will discuss and use these four parts of speech in this video to demonstrate how to use the POS search option. We are going to use the POS search option for the word, which we are all familiar with, vomit. First, insert a period after the word here to show a connection to the tag we will assign to it. Keep the blinking slash to the right of the period. Next, click on the arrow on the POS list to drop the menu and click on the verb, period, all. When you click on it, a verb tag will appear to the right of your word. Close all spaces between the word, the period, and the tag. Click on the search button here. Your results will appear in the results caption to the right. Now let's talk about how to interpret these results. Notice that the verb vomit in blue and the number listed to the right here. This number represents how many results or hits were found with the verb form of this word. So now you know that vomit is commonly used as a verb. To view the details of each of these results, click on the blue word like this. Look at each individual sentence here to understand the usage of vomit in different genres. Now return to the search string caption to the left so that we can do the same search of vomit but for the noun form. First, delete the verb tag in the text box here. 
Again, place the blinking slash to the right of the period. Then, drop the POS list menu and click on Noun Period All. The noun tag should appear to the right of the period. Then click on the search button. Look at the results again to the right. Click the word in blue to view specific samples of sentences that use vomit as a noun. Some additional examples of useful searches are break as a noun compared to break as a verb, as well as pretty as an adjective compared to pretty as an adverb. Search these words or any other words on your own now. Next, Emily will describe what wildcards are and how you can use them to refine your COCA search. Find the search string window and reset any previous searches. Make sure list is selected in the display options. In the words text box, type the letters P-R-O-V-E and in the symbol of a question mark. The question mark representing all the possible letters that could happen in English after prove. Remember, we are hoping to see whether proven or proved is used more in our results. Push the search button. Our results are on the right, so we can see that both proved and proven are used, but it looks like proved is used about twice as often as proven. We can click on proved to see the concordances or context of the word to see if one is used more often in different types of contexts. Next, let's try a multi-letter wildcard. Let's say I have seen the past tense of the word dream as both dreamt with a T and dreamed with a ED. I think one of these versions is American and the other is British, but I'm not sure which one is which. Reset the search string area once again. This time, let's type in the letters D-R-E-A-M and then the symbol of an asterisk. The asterisk representing any number of letters that could happen after the letters D-R-E-A-M. Click search. Once again, our results are on the right. We see that both dreamed and dreamt are being used. However, note that dreamed is used much more frequently. If we click on dreamt, we see some uses in context. Let's try one more thing with wildcards. We can look up whole words using the multi-word wildcard. The other day I heard an interesting phrase, but now I can't remember what it was. I remember that it was curiosity killed something. I'm going to type in curiosity killed the asterisk and push search. Hopefully it is a common enough phrase that it will appear in my results. And look, there it is. That's what it was. Curiosity killed the cat. Now you have the basic tools that you need to perform an efficient search in COCA using lemmas, parts of speech tags, and wildcards. Try using all of them together in one search to learn new things about the usage of the English language. Enjoy!